Hey guys, this is Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change out your ugly keycaps on your 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch in a couple easy steps. Stay tuned guys and I'll show you how to do that. And as you can see right here guys, this thing has seen better days. You can see by the A, S, W key, and D key, almost like if it was a video game uh, computer or a gaming computer, which MacBooks really aren't. So I wonder what this user was actually using this MacBook for. Um, I don't even know if this thing can play <laughs> Fortnite or anything like that. But definitely was used for the WAS keys right here. Uh, these are the only keys that are visibly distorted. Um, so the, the user that actually gave me this laptop to fix, they just wanted these keys right here fixed. And it's pretty easy to do and it's going to make it a lot more aesthetically pleasing, especially when uh, you turn on the light, especially at night. This is just kind of a blur, which is not very pretty. Our, um, useful at night because there's really nothing you can see in the WAS uh, location here. But primarily you just need one uh, tool and here it is. I'll link this tool down below in the description. This right here will help you out. This runs about a dollar on Amazon. It's kind of just like a prying tool, a sponger tool, and a poking tool all put together so you can get into the really tiny nicks and crannies of a keyboard. So. Without further ado guys, let's go to jump into this. So you can buy extra keycaps on Amazon or on eBay, um, depending on how long you will wait for shipping. But this right here actually got off of eBay. It took about two weeks to get here and they put it in a nice pretty um, kind of presentation for you. So it's all in order. Again, all we're really worried about is the ASWD keys right here. Um, and the cool thing is you can keep this. So if you do have other further, further projects down the road, you can keep it for other um, contracts or clients or anything like that, or just keep it just in case one of these other keys lose its color. So this is actually pretty easy to do. We're gonna take off our S key right here. We're gonna take a closer look at this. So you can see right here, this key is kind of made interesting. So you can see that on the top, they have little tiny like holders for it. Let's see if you can see that. And then on the end, there's like a hook. So um, we're gonna take off this uh, S key right here and replace it with this one. Pretty easy to do. We're gonna grab our tool. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on this location so you can get a better view. So right here with this sharp end of your tool, you're gonna go ahead and put it right on top. You don't want to get down here because you'll break the little uh, bezels off on the inside and then you will have to change out some more components. So we're just going to go ahead and put this right here and you're going to pick up on one side at a time like so and pull out. So we're just going to make sure we have the exact same thing here. So as you see on top, that kind of focus in, you can see that there is a the clip on top and the hook on bottom. So just make sure when you place that, it's in the same order. Again, see if I can let that focus. So you have the clip on top and like a little hook on bottom. Uh, this looks pretty good, but you can also replace this if you're having like issues. Um, when you type, if you get multiple inputs, when you just click once, you can replace this whole thing. This user is not having that issue, but some people do. Um, so down the road, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's go ahead and get the new keycap. Make sure that we put it back in the right order. So this was an S key. Again, you want the top portion of this to go in the right way. So we have the little holes right there, little clips and the hook. It's actually very easy to put back in as so that looks so much better compared to this ugly thing. So I'm assuming whoever had this laptop um, before me, because I did buy this actually, um, definitely was playing some type of uh, scrolling, shooting, some type of game on this where you're using 
the movement key right here because this has definitely been used very hard or a lot um, so who knows maybe roblox i don't know <laughs> fortnite something like that but we're gonna go ahead and replace the next one now so same idea these are all made the same way you can graft your little nifty a key from here again with your two dollar tool right there on top one side at a time make sure to go slow you don't want to break anything he's trying to repair stuff so same idea this one's not having issues with uh, multiple clicks with one input but it is having an issue with the way it looks so there's our new and old key i guess you can say the um oem key is a lot more shiny you can see that reflection compared to like more of a matte finish um can't really tell right now but i mean this one was pretty cheap i think i got the whole all these keys for about 19 dollars, which is less than a couple pennies per key which is cool so again put it on just make sure you have it in the right direction just press it a couple times to make sure it's in there properly just like that okay same thing for the d key so it's kind of repetitive again just take your time with it go right there with your two dollar tool this one's a little bit harder to get into again you always want to come on the top first and kind of wiggle and jiggle your way on the bottom to get those little hooks out and that's your d key and this is going to make it so much more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you don't have to guess where you're putting um, your inputs at so this one's a little bit stuck so we're going to just kind of go in there you can see that not the best placement so we're just going to try to pull this back out you can see it's kind of stuck in there sometimes this happens so i'm going to go ahead and pull it back out kind of place that again again when you're doing stuff like this just take your time you don't want to break anything it's kind of stuck right there there we go so there might be a little bit of junk in there so if you have a blowing tool now is a good time to blow out any crud or junk because for some reason this thing got stuck so we're going to get our blowing tool in this blow in this location right here so here is the air tech tool i like to use i'll leave this also in the links down below this thing is awesome it has a little kind of a little filter right there so it makes sure that only thing that's coming at your computer is nice clean air so we're just going to blow it gently So the reason why I was holding this down, there is a membrane on top of here. You don't want to cut it or damage it because that could also lead to issues with input when you click down. So we'll see if that worked. Again, we're going to make sure we're placing this in the right direction. You want your hooks right on top. Right there to be facing up. Now that is nice. Clicking a lot better there. Okay, so we're going to go to the W key and do the same thing. Right on top, just take your time with it. And yeah, it came out a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off as well. Okay, so we're going to grab our W and put that in. Again, when you're doing this, you always want to make sure that you have this in the right direction with these little tiny clips facing up and the hooks on the bottom. Place it in there. And everything looks pretty good. We got everything in as best as we could. And sometimes these kind of stick. So you might, might want to go back in there and make sure it's in there properly. Again, these keys were used a lot. And when you go in there, just uh, make sure to take your time. Go on top. You can see right there, it's not seated all the way. Again, this laptop is from 2018, so it has a couple years on it. I'm gonna have to try to come in on the side here. Again, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I don't wanna make sure this is properly done. Almost had it. And you always want to take your time. I'm going on one edge per time, per uh, 
and a time right there. Okay, let's see what's going on in there. Again, I'm going to blow it off again. Take a look at everything, make sure nothing's damaged again. Try that again. Let's push it straight on here. So we're going to put the bottom in first and then the top. Now that's a nice click. Okay, just like that guys, it's pretty easy to do and you can see that the keyboard looks almost brand new now. And it's not a bad deal for a $2 sponger tool and $20 for all these keys. So if you got any good information or learned how to do something new, please hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It does help me out. We're gonna try to get to at least 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2025. So please help me get there. Anyways guys, as always, I enjoyed teaching y'all something new and I'll see you on the next video. Ghost57 out. Bye bye for now, friends. See you next time.